In spring of 1918, the Germans will launch their spring offensive, the Kaiserschlacht, a push to hopefully end the war in a German victory. This offensive was to be Germany's last of the war, and in fact, the very last battle of this offensive, which actually helped turn the tide for an Allied victory, was the Second Battle of the Marne, a German offensive that quickly became an Allied counteroffensive, routing them back to Soissons. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Real History Of, an episodic web series where I take a look at the battles and events that shaped Battlefield 1. I'm Christopher, the video game historian, and on this episode, I'll be taking a look at the real history of the Second Battle of the Marne. The Second Battle of the Marne would be launched by the Germans on July 15th, 1918, and would be their last offensive push in the war. General Ludendorff was convinced that the best way to end the war in a German victory would be to push a main offensive through Flanders, while a divisionary offensive was launched at the Marne. Unfortunately, this ended in a counter-offensive being pushed by the Allies just a few days later, turning the tide of the war to a victory in the Allies' name. The attack was launched on the back of their previous Chemin des Dames offensive as part of their Kaiserschlacht. In the hopes of dividing the Allied forces up to defeat them easier, 23 divisions of the 1st and 3rd German armies attacked the French 4th Army just east to the town of Reims, while 17 divisions of the 7th German Army assisted the 9th in attacking the French 6th Army to the west of Reims. After an initial bombardment of artillery on the French lines, the Germans began to advance. On the eastern front of the battle, the Germans were halted by 11 a.m. as the French had set up false lines of trenches that the German artillery had hit, and the real front line of the French was further back, just out of range of German artillery. The attack on the western front was a little more successful, but not by much. The Germans were able to break through the 6th Army and managed to cross the Marne and establish a bridgehead with the six additional divisions. Unfortunately, they were not able to break through the Allied lines, as on July 17th, the Germans were halted by the 9th British Army. The next day, on July 18th, General Falk authorized a counterattack to repel the German forces back across the Marne. 24 divisions consisting of troops from the British, American, French, and Italian armies, along with 350 tanks, began their push against the German salient. The first day alone, the French 6th and 10th armies managed to advance 5 miles, while a subsidiary attack was launched in the west by the French 5th and 9th armies. By July 20th, the Germans had ordered a full retreat and were being pushed back from their defenses at Chateau Thierry. Within the next two weeks, by August 3rd, the Germans were pushed back to the Aisne Valley rivers where they had once begun their spring offensive. All the progress they had managed was undone in a few short days. The momentum of the Allies would finally be halted on August 6th by entrenched Germans, but by then it was too late. The Germans lost all their progress that they had made during the Kaiserschlacht and was pushed back to their starting position. This upset forced General Ludendorff to cancel his Flanders attack and had weakened the German army. The tide of the war was now in the Allies' hands and this counteroffensive saw the beginning of the Hundred Days Offensive for the Allies, which would bring an end to the war in November. For the remainder of the war, the Germans made no further large-scale offensives. Casualties on both sides were high, as the Germans lost roughly 168,000 men, while the Allies suffered 120,000 combined, 95,000 of which were French casualties, with the remaining 25,000 split between the American and British forces. That's all for this week's episode. I know it was a little short, but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway, and if so, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and leave your comments down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media with Twitter and Facebook, as well as on my Discord server, link in the description below. I'm also on the Xbox One, now under the name Bacon Rebellions, as well as in the Forum Feelers Platoon on the PlayStation 4. Until next time, I will see you on the battlefield.